I just stay here for the water and then I want to do that. James, can you please lead prayer? Can you lead the prayer? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. Okay, before you sit down, please pick up the piece of paper under your chair. And for our checking of attendance, Miss Secretary, who is absent today? Wow, I'm so impressed that no one is absent today. And it seems like you are all eager to learn a new lesson today. And because of that, let us all give a nice clap to everyone. Okay, class, before we start our lesson, um, who can give me um, the recap of our last lesson yesterday? Yes, Anna. Thank you. We've tackled about demonstrative pronouns. And what are the four types of demonstrative pronouns? Yes. Very good. Another one. Yes, James, thank you so much. Very good, class. Okay, class. I have here a camera. And this camera contains a lot of pictures that I took from different places. Now what I want you to do is that you have to get one picture inside of this camera and you have to describe it in front of the class. Understood? Now who among you wants to get the first picture? Yes? Okay. Anna, what picture did you get? Can you please describe the boy? Anna, are you also a respectful child? Very good, because respectful child, if you respect your elders, you respect your parents, God will always bless you. Now, who among you wants to get the second picture? Okay, yes, James. James, what picture did you get? Can you please describe the classroom? James, what do you do when you see that the classroom is messy or untidy? Very good, you're such a hardworking child. You can now go back to your seat. Class, if you're hardworking, other people or other classmates will also inspire by you. Now who among you wants to get the third picture? Yes, Elsa? Oh, sure. Elsa, what picture did you get? Can you please describe the girl? Elsa, are you also a generous child? Very good, because if you're generous, God will gonna bless you a lot of blessings. Now class, did you know that we have a visitor today? Yes, you heard it right. We have a visitor today. And he is amazing being. Come on class, so let's, let's all greet amazing being. Hi, amazing being. Class, amazing being is a kind and kind-hearted person. He is also helpful and responsible. And did you know in the class that Super Bing has a gift for us? Yes, who among you wants to help me to get Super Bing's gift? Yes, Ro? Oh, sure. Thank you so much, Ro. You're such a helpful child. You can now go back to your seat. Class, it turns out the Super Bing's gift is our lesson for today. Class, please read the first sentence. Class, do you usually go to the park? What do you do when you see that the park is messy? Yes, Anna? Very good. And because of that, you earn a star. Number two sentence. Class, do you also have a characteristics of being polite? 
Very good. How do you show your uh, politeness to your classmates or to your parents? Yes, Rihanna? Very good. The number three sentence. Class, are you also a loving person? Now, how do you show your love to your parents or to your classmates? Yes, boy, too? Very good. Number four sentence. Please read. Class, do you usually go to the river? What do you do when you see that there's a lot of garbage floating on the river? Very good. Because of that, you're a star. I want you to look closer, okay? I want you to look closer among the following sentences. Now, class, what do you notice? What do you notice? Yes, James? Uh-huh, another answer. Who among you wants to help James? Yes, Anna? Very good. There are some words that have an underline. Class, the underline words. Can you please give me one? Yes, Elsa? Very good. Another. Yes, Anna. Thank you so much. Okay. So, class, the underlying words are the words that describes. And the words that describes are what we call adjective. Yes, class. Please read. Adjectives are words that describe a person and a place. Okay, class, here. The underlying word here is messy. What uh, describes the adjective word messy? Yes, Anna. The park. Is the park a person or a place? Very good. The number two. The underlying word here is polite. Who describes the adjective word polite? Yes, my dear. Okay, the child. Is the child a person or a place? Very good. <laughs> Number three. Class, the underlying word here is what? Okay, loving. And loving, who describes the adjective word loving? Yes, Elsa? The, the boy. Is the person, is the boy a person or a place? Very good. Number four. The underlying word here is dirty. Now, what describes the adjective word dirty? The river. Is the river person or a place? Very good class. Now class, we're going to have a group activity. So what I want you to do now is you have to uh, read the group one word and the group two word. Okay, so for the group one, you have to choose a a partner and describe his or her characteristics or appearance in front of the class. And for the work of group two, you have to share some places that you have visited and you have to describe it in front of the class. I'm only giving you five minutes, okay, class? And for your rubric presentation, the, for the rubrics, the usage of adjective word, 50%, the good performance, 25%, the participation is 25%. You can now begin. Okay, class. Last two minutes. Last one minute. Time's up. I right, class, let's all hear the word of group one. Impressive. You can now go back to your seat, group one. Class, let us all give group one a driver's clap. One, two, three, one, two, three. And beep beep, good job. Okay, let us all hear the group presentation of group two. Impressive class, let us all give group two a tiger club. One, two, three, one, two, three. Rawr performance. Okay, class. Again, class, what is adjective? Yes, Anna. Very good. I am so happy and grateful that you all learned our lesson today. Now, class, what I want you to do now is that you have to get the paper and pencil because we are going to have a test. Please read the directions. 
Okay, so please read the number one sentence, the number two, three, four, and five. Okay, class, I'm only giving you 10 minutes for, to do that. Begin. Okay, last, last two minutes, last one minute. Please pass your paper here in front. Hands up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so, and for your homework or assignment, class, please read the directions. And also, please read the words inside the box. Please read the number one sentence. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, class, that is all for today. Goodbye, class. Bye, take care. You're going to stretch this excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, if you want, excellent. Voice, excellent. The way you presented it, excellent. Oh, I'm So, as if you have been teaching already for a long time, what level have you demonstrated? What grade is Grade three. three. Uh, ah, grade three. three. Grade three, yeah. yeah. So, alam mo, yung mga students here are not, they belong to the middle class group of people. So, they do not, uh, <coughs> they really cannot understand. They really cannot, some of them cannot even read, they cannot understand. So you have to be, you bring your level to the level so that they will be able to understand what you will be teaching them. Because if you are teaching them according to your level, which you are very, you are very high, you are very bright, okay? But for them, they will not be able to understand you if you, if you are, uh, how about this? If you are not going to put down your level on them, so if you want them to understand what you are going to to teach, you have to go down to the level whether you are, um, what is this? Whether you are using the online or whatever approach you are going to use, so it's. The only way that if you are going to, to, to teach them according to how we think, to see that okay? they, are not, they are not well versed in English, they will not be able to understand you, but they are good. They have been speaking in English from the beginning to the end. Because there are some teachers who are teaching in English, but they speak in Tagalog. So, the teacher and students will not be able to talk about its sweets. They are very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. So it will be in this school in Taklava. Where do you live, by the way? Where do you go? From the Mokalenics and the village. So I'll be here.